Hey, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, tonight I'm doing my, probably my first and only last uh, live event for webinars in terms of part of my workshop on databases uh, for HFT potential, uh, automated trading. And I'm gonna be covering a whole gambit of different types of databases and the commercial versus uh, open source or free databases. I uh, just wanted to show you, I just posted this for my members. These are the amount of videos that I have posted throughout the last uh, two years on my research on what works, what doesn't work, and uh, my chosen database, which is of course SQL Server. Um, and I just wanna show this for uh, people out there in the public domain so they understand what they are getting themselves into. My views of it, it might not work for you, you might not agree with it, and that's fine. Um, and I know there's a bunch of haters that will go on about this and like, I care. <laughs> uh, we move on and um, you know, we you know we just do what we do. Anyway, so let me just give you some hindsight what we're looking at. So this presentation is going to look at uh, MySQL, obviously free from uh, Oracle, uh, SQL Server, commercial, and then of course focusing on NoSQL with topics including open source for uh, big data, R, Java, Cassandra, Mongo, DB, and Redis. Now. All, this, all these are awesome databases for what they are, um, but I have my reasons on why I prefer my SQL Server. Um, but uh, let, me, let, me, let me just first start off with, you can see the amount of research put, put in this. Um, uh, I'm hoping that this will save my members and whoever chooses to be a quantlabs.net member, premium member, I was gonna save them like literally months of wasted time and, and going down rabbit holes. But here's a couple of things I want people to take away from this. Um, all right, so these are of course my own, based upon my own experience, um, but what I find with these tools here, MATLAB, SQL Server, .NET, and C Sharp, enable me to jumpstart faster into algo, algorithm strategy development and development tools uh, because uh, these communities from MathWorks, Microsoft obviously, provide a more effective community, community uh, online re uh, training and resources and documentation to get me started really fast. That's just my experience with the whole enchilada of these different types of technologies of R, Linux, Hadoop, Java, NoSQL, uh, or I would say R, Linux, Hadoop. All of these are fine, but these are so fragmented and broken that they don't properly play nice with each other. And you see these different demos of stuff but the problem is, is that they're not integrated as well as you do with these choices here, MATLAB, SQL Server, and .NET C Sharp. So uh, I'm gonna talk about that tonight. Uh, also, um, with uh, a lot of uh, people concerned about complex event processing, I'm gonna address that. That is addressed in my belief through SQL Server. It, I don't think it's the best choice, but it's the easiest and quickest path to get you into what you want to do is, of course, uh, algorithm and strategy development. So you're not getting hung up on all those other extraneous stuff with all this stuff like R, Java, Cassandra, all this open source stuff. So that's one of the other reasons why I like it. So let's go through this and just showing you what I've got here, all this stuff. And this is all integrated with MATLAB. First I present MATLAB with um, MATLAB integration. Now MATLAB and MathWorks have done an awesome job in doing that to integrate MySQL. It's, it's virtually brainless. So I've got a couple of demos we'll be talking about that tonight. I've also figured out ways to do that with C Sharp and being able to populate data through uh, the MATLAB Simulink, which is one of my ways of doing that. Also, I'll be talking about um, C, C++. Um, now, before I move on to that, I'll be talking about how to populate tick, tick forex databases using these technologies, C plus, C sharp, MATLAB using MySQL. Um, and of course, I've got my own little secrets that I posted in the past. And of course, using Yahoo Finance as a source as well, which is a free uh, database for um, how to capture data through Yahoo Finance for free, cool, eh? And I've got all this other stuff, how to build a, a historical database using this data uh, bulk, uh, C sharp, uh, data bulk loader and that again is part of just using the world of MySQL looks good awesome eh? Um, I've got another one here on how to now this is C++ how to integrate 
uh, C++ using, uh, you can connect into Oracle, MySQL, DB2, uh, as well as I've done some demos in my past. I may talk about this with this uh, shim using uh, uh, Linux and MySQL, uh, my experience with that. Now these are all videos that I posted up on my membership as well as my YouTube channel. Now, um, yo man, I just keep getting more and more. I've got market uh, Yahoo Market Data, my experiences with that. I talk about R. Um, yes, I have played with R, how to integrate R and MySQL together. Um, so, yeah, man, I've spent a lot of time on this. What works, what doesn't work. And these all work. Don't, don't get me wrong. These are fantastic. This is all free. It's awesome. But it's still, you're going to go through a lot of pain to get to where you want to go, especially from coming from the non tech world. Now, let's talk about no SQL, open source, specifically with Big Data R. I've got some demos on that. Uh, I've got, of course, my favorite, which originally wasn't my favorite, um, but it's currently my favorite now with this MongoDB because now they've be have had better Windows integration. Uh, and, I, and I showed demos on that with the GMS using uh, Java. Um, with with interactive brokers, yo man, this is pretty cool stuff. I get excited when I look at it. Uh, a good client, uh, GUI client for Mongo with a Mongo view. How to integrate R and Ubuntu Linux through the R Studio. Again, R R R. Um, now this is where it gets really powerful. Um, now I'm just not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'll talk about this a little bit. Um, but this one's a really powerful little demo that I've seen using Redis, uh, MySQL. Uh, sorry, Redis R, um, and just having a workers so you can have your own equivalent of um, a parallelized environment, all, all again for free, um, using uh, a Java application for fast inserts into Redis. Now Redis is a uh, a uh, in memory database. I've done a lot of experimentation with Redis. I really like Redis. The only problem is it's not very good Windows integration with. It. I mean Microsoft's got their own implementation of it. Um, I've also played with Hadoop, Redis, um, and Java. Uh, I've got here Redis, NoSQL, with C Sharp for fast inserts and reads. Uh, again, coming back using a platform called ActiveQuant with Hadoop, HBase, Java R, and Redis. Um, eh, got my opinions on that. Again, these are all videos that I've got. Um, now, also, I've got here uh, things like uh, um, demos on how to integrate MATLAB, SQL Server, uh, how to integrate SQL Server with Stream Insights to a stream. In my case, 1.2 million ticks. That's pretty awesome, man. Um, and it's pretty quick. Um, this is, again, using SQL Server. I have my opinions on the new SQL Server 2014 with a new uh, in-memory data functionality, which is which is a killer option. So that's that could potentially rival something like a MongoDB or Redis. Stream Insights again for complex event processing. Uh, I've got here some demos on using C Sharp .NET with SQL Server 2012. Select statements. Uh, Blah blah blah. How to create a MS or MS SQL Server data using uh, market uh, tick and historical data. Um, SQL Server CEP using Yahoo Finance. Um, and then the last one is the potential of using Windows Server 2012 to deploy all this stuff with a potential HFT environment with uh, SQL Server as well as a repository. Now the last thing I did not mention was um, a couple of things. Of course, I include C source code with everything. All of this is in part of my membership. All of it's part of my membership. And most of all, um, I've also included a database schema that comes from one of the other demos that I've done a few days ago um, from uh, DevExpress. And there's a, a really powerful uh, application in their demos, very basic charting, but they've also included the um, the the, uh, the the database schema, so you get your SQL uh, SQL code for that, so you can create your database objects and all that. And that, I include a link on that in this webinar. There's a lot of powerful things in this. And again, 
All this is over two years of research. Um, this is why I spent so much time on it. The key here is that um, these are what I'm choosing. Uh, and again, I'm using SQL Server 2012 as what I'm going to use for my call, call it platform. Um, so this is all powerful stuff. I'm, I'm hoping this is going to save people a ton of time, months possibly. And of course, using the ability to use all the data that's available out there for free, all the other various uh, free open source technologies, like I said, MySQL, uh, all the different open, uh, no SQL databases like Mongo, Cassandra, uh, and Redis. Um, I've, I've spent a lot of time on this, and of course, I've also mentioned a lot of experimenting with R and uh, Java as well. Uh, so it's all there, man. And uh, again, the power of what I'm trying to do for the last two years, but we've got what we need in terms of technology. Now we're gonna move into algo and strategy development. So this little webinar, I'm hoping, is gonna save people a ton, a ton of time. Have a good one, let me know what you think, later.